today's movie recommendation is Tenement. One hell of a movie, it's a lot of fun. I remember seeing a DVD in the shops many years ago under the Tenement title and I thought, okay, cool cover, but it was a bit too pricey at the time. Anyway, I remitted that this afternoon. I watched Tenement. The story is very generic. This uh, gang hanging out in the basement of this kind of bombed out building somewhere in the Bronx. One of the tenants calls the cops on them. The gang marched off to the police station, but I pretty much released the same afternoon and they go back directly to the tenement and have their revenge. So that's the basic setup. The director is Roberta Findlay. I've not really seen anything from her. I know she's uh, has some kind of a cult uh, following, but I'm not aware of her credentials all that well. Recently, I've seen a really crap movie called uh, Shriek of the Mutilated, which Roberta Findlay worked on as a camera person. And Shriek of the Mutilated is one of the lamest films I've seen this year. I mean, this is YouTube. I'm not really able to use expletives freely so it's a rubbish film but one of the few redeeming qualities in that crappy film was the shots when none of the talentless hideously looking uh, cast members were in front of the camera so there were shots of just cars driving by or some trees and lakes and stuff like that and those were nicely well composed shots really nice to look at and that's because Roberta Findlay was the camera person on Trick of the Mutilated and in 1985 she directed Tenement which is kind of like a poor cousin to Exterminator 2. It's like a very low budget gang movie. There is a lot of authentic flavor to the locations. You see a lot of rubble and those kind of crumbling, dilapidated buildings. It reminded me a bit of, of an earlier film from Abel Ferrara, which is Miss 45, which also had some of that uh, feel to it where the streets and the houses almost spoke to you better than the cast themselves. When it comes to the cast, there is another Abel Ferrara connection because Paul Calderon, who was in Bad Lieutenant with Harvey, with Harvey Keitel, shows up as one of those uh, crazy uh, gang members in Tenement and that was one of his earlier roles, kind of the same as Jeff Goldblum popping up in, in Death Wish as, as a thug. So it's like a, you know, a great actor having his start in a, in a quite a cliched role. In the tenement, it's also very interesting with all the uh, accents the different cast members have because it's like a poor neighborhood. So you have like a, like a Polish Jew and Latinos and you have the blacks and some kind of poor white folks and everybody ha has their own dialect which I love that it kind of having never been to the States it's like listening to all those kind of the way they speak even though the acting themselves is like kind of college play stage play level uh, you know there was still a, a certain authenticity by virtue of them shooting on on real locations and uh, using people who were in some way f kind of they have like documentary quality to them so i enjoy that enormously also it's quite a fast-paced movie tenement doesn't suffer from like a protracted exposition it kicks in very nicely like from the opening shots where you have this cheesy tenement or song over the opening credits the music in tenement was by walter sear and that name rang some bells because recently i reviewed this movie uh, Dr. Butcher MD, which is the American incarnation of Zombie Holocaust, the Italian gut muncher. Walter Sear was brought in to overhaul the score of Zombie Holocaust, to, to Americanize the, the sound of the music, to make it more palatable for the 42nd Street audience. And I believe he must have given some library music also for, he must have provided some of it also for Tenement. And I think the use of music of Tenement was, it was very straightforward. There was no real uh, fancy stuff going on there and it worked really well. You just know you're, you, you're in for a fun ride and the movie doesn't disappoint. Obviously they have to stretch their tiny little budget uh, to, you know, produce a 90 minute film. Like you can tell, like there is a party scene where um, the tenants are celebrating the, the, the gang got kicked out and all you see at the party is like they have one plate with some pretzels on it. That's all there is in the middle of the table and it's like one uh, one can of beer or something. So it's a very modest production. But I can think of like 10 or 20 movies with similar plots which had better acting, less banal dialects and, 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 and still come across more boring and have less personality than Tenement. Just because somehow Roberta Findlay was able to capture something with the way she framed the shots 
and despite having nothing whatsoever to say with the movie, she actually put her personal uh, kind of stamp on that film and I appreciated that a lot. I also like the colorful gangs in the 80s, which like I said, it reminded me sort of movies like uh, Exterminate or like Warriors, the Bronx Warriors, all that kind of genre. You know, when Father Gigante was uh, overseeing all those kind of tenement buildings in the Bronx and stuff like that. They didn't have like elaborate effects, but there is a fair deal of blood and the movie clips along at a decent pace, if you know what I mean. So I can totally uh, recommend this movie. And if you've seen Tenement and you can think of other movies in similar vein, I would like to hear recommendations from you because the only movie that comes to mind, which is similarly cheap, is probably Dead Bit of Dawn, which I'm not a big fan of because that was like just a macho fest and that one went even more the low budget route with just the guys punching each other out. So the Tenement seemed a bit more lavish uh, compared to Dead Beat at Dawn, I thought. I give Tenement uh, like top score for being unpretentious, getting on with it, being violent enough and outrageous enough to warrant those, uh, you know, uh, 90 minutes, taking great full advantage of the crumbling authentic uh, locations. It's a movie that delivers on the promise. <laughs>